Hey everyone, this is Shri Dalakar, Asia Raven and welcome to the latest Geekery News Brief where I quickly go over some of the stuff that happened in geek and pop culture so that you have stuff on your radar. Of course, I'm going to start with the latest box office results. So for the week of August 23 to 25 this year, Angel has fallen. This is a new Gerard Butler movie. It ended up topping the weekend. It's from Lionsgate Studios and it ended up grossing 21.2 million at the US box office which is kind of in line with its uh, uh, previous installment, not more, but still on the same level. Then Good Boys ended up falling 45%. It's a, it's a very comedic R-rated film if you are into like kids being R-rated, which it's weird, but it's fun. Then we have a new fate-based movie, Overcomer, which ended up making more than 8 million. Then The Lion King ended up crossing the 500 million domestic mark. So kudos to Lion King. It has already passed the 1 million, 1 billion worldwide mark. Now coming to Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw, it ended up opening in China. And in China, it had, it had a more than a $100 million debut, which, is, which ends up making it the second highest debut of August after Avengers Endgame. And it's also the second highest debut for a Fast and Furious uh, franchise. Now, uh, I have uh, talked about it before that Hobbs and Shaw needs to at least makes this 600 million globally to break even. However, it's not performing very well domestically. Currently, only in domestic, uh, in the US, it has only made $147.7 million, which, is, which isn't great, especially because uh, uh, the studio only gets a percentage of that. And now coming to China, even though it has, gro it has had more than a $100 million uh, debut, China only gives 25% of the box office. So Hobbs and Shaw, Shaw sequel, yeah, it's likely not going to happen, but... I mean, it's it's Dwayne Johnson's fault. He ended up trying to uh, trying to take the franchise away from Vin Diesel. He wanted his own spin-off, and this is what happened. As far as the rest of the news is concerned, the previous weekend was all about the D23 Expo, and we got to know a lot more about what kind of content we should expect from the upcoming Disney streaming service. Uh, what kind uh, there are original movies? Hilary Duff is coming back for for a continuation of her Lizzie McGuire series. High School Musical is coming back. We got to see the Mandalorian trailer. I did a reaction review of it. I. Yeah, so much, so much. We covered it all for the Geekery, so make sure to check that out. Personally, if you ask me, the content that I'm most excited to see is the Wanda Vision TV series that's coming out, especially because Wanda is connected to Wiccan. Wiccan is my one of my favorite Marvel characters, so I'm excited to see how Disney is going to play on Wanda's uh, powers and whether or not they will introduce Wiccan into the MCU. So that will be interesting. Also, uh, Miss Marvel Kamala Khan is getting a live live action TV series. Like so much happened during the D23 Expo. So make sure to check out all of those articles. Uh, we got we talked about the movies, the TV series, the theme parks everything. Talking about Wiccan, Marvel also released this promo image of a new event which is called Incoming and I don't know about you but this silhouette and like it looks to me that it's Hulkling. I really hope that it's Hulkling because Hulkling and Wiccan are such an OP power couple in the Marvel universe and I would like Hulkling to get more stories about him so let's see what happens. This one shot will be available this December and apparently it's going to it's going to shape uh, the Marvel comic book future as it moves forward into 2020 and onwards. Another thing that fans were concerned about was, uh, yeah, Spider-Man's fate. Turns out that Sony and Disney are yet, yeah, they still haven't uh, come to a negotiation or come to an agreement. So yeah, apparently Spider-Man won't be part of the MCU anymore. However, Sony will continue making Spider-Man films. Kevin, Kevin Feige won't be involved in them. Tom Holland is still Spider-Man. So yeah, we wrote articles about that too. And it will be interesting to see what happens to Spider-Man now that only Sony is making these films because some fans think that uh, 
Spy the Spider-Man films have only been doing good because they're connected in the MCU. And other fans are saying that Sony, Sony has done the right thing. Why should they give uh, the House of Mouse more than uh, like 50% of the box office grosses? And why is Disney being greedy? So yeah, it will be interesting to see how the Spider-Man films do now that Disney and the MCU won't be involved in it. Fans at the D23 Expo were also treated to a feature for the upcoming Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker film. And now that feature has been released to the public. You can watch it on YouTube and apparently it has a scene that shows a dark gray and she has like these dual red uh, lightsabers and People are going crazy about it because they really thought that there are a lot of theories that we are going to see Rey move to the dark side in this film. But as far as I'm concerned, such a reveal felt way too big and it, it it's way too important in the narrative sense for it to be spoiled in the trailer. So I wouldn't be surprised if that dark Rey scene ends up being an illusion and Rey has to fight her illusion somehow, you know, like Naruto style, like Naruto ended up fighting his dark side in one of those arcs where, while he was training before the uh, World Ninja War. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's just an illusion and Dark Grey isn't something that we'll be, we'll be getting in this film, like a real Dark Grey. But you know what? I'm ready to be surprised. Let's see what Kathleen Kennedy has in store for us. So yeah, that's that for my Geekery news briefs. Yeah, all of the links to the articles that I want you to want you guys to read will be down in the comment section below. So please read them. Let me know what you thought of the, the D23 Expo. Which Marvel content are you most excited about? Which exclusive Disney Plus content do you want to watch? Will you be subscribing to the, to the streaming service? What do you think is going to happen to the Spider-Man films moving forward? Yeah, let me know. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys later.